It is Tuesday, the 15th of March, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. As we move now from the Ten Commandments in Luther's small catechism on to the next part of the catechism, we find that we've been prepared by the Ten Commandments to receive God's grace. And so now the question becomes, what God is it that grants this grace? And Luther uses the Apostles' Creed as a means of teaching about this. The name of our God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A, a divine mystery where the one God is three persons so united in love that there is no difference between them. The first article of the Creed, of course, is I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And the question, as always in the Catechism, is what does this mean? Well, Luther answers it. I believe that God has created me together with all that exists. God has given me and still preserves my body and soul, eyes, ears, and all limbs, senses, reason, and all mental faculties. That's the first part of what Luther says. Notice that God has created me and all that exists. God is the very ground of existence. If there is, then there is God. If there is not, then there is no God. The fact that I am is a sign of God's love and grace and mercy. God has created me and everything else around me. If you can see it, touch it, smell it, taste it, it's been created by God. And that not only has God made things, but then preserves and sustains things, continues to move them forward each and every day. If the heart still beats in your chest, if your lungs still move, if your body and your soul, your eyes and your ears and everything are all working at least reasonably well, then that is a sign that God still sustains and is with you. But Luther doesn't stop there. Luther says in addition to all this, God daily and abundantly provides shoes and clothing, food and drink, house and farm, spouse and children, fields, livestock, and all property, along with all of the necessities and nourishment for this body and life. God protects me against all danger and shields and preserves me from all evil. And all this is done, why? Well, out of pure fatherly and divine goodness and mercy, without any merit or worthiness on my own, for all this I owe it to God to thank and praise, serve and obey him. This is most certainly true. Luther understands that to call God creator is to give thanks that not only do I exist, but that everything that sustains my existence is a gift from God. My gifts, my skill, my job, my employer, uh, the sun outside, the, the, the creation around me, the roof over my head, Everything that I have comes from God, and that the reason that I have these things is not because I'm good and deserve them, uh, not because God is trying to get something out of me, but out of pure, complete grace. God gives everything to us, expecting nothing in return. God gives us from the abundance of divine love so that we may be Luther ends this part of the catechism in each case with the words, this is most certainly true, which is another way of saying, amen, yes. It's an affirmation that we believe and that we're touched by this grace deeply. So on this Lenten day, look around at everything in the world and see if you can find something that didn't come from God. You won't then give thanks for God made it all, gave it all, and did it out of love. This is most certainly true. Let us pray. Holy God, from your hand come all good things. From your hand comes existence itself. Help us to be awed and amazed by the bounty of your love Help us to give thanks for all things 
and to live in joyous response to what you have first given us. Make us stewards of everything that you have given so that we may be found faithful. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen.